Hello, Class here. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizer. As is basically tradition by now, I'm playing a randomizer since I'm gone. Um, and I've also picked another variation that I haven't played before. Um, this is gonna be the Enemizer. Also, we have Palette Swap. Wait. I mixed up what my buttons were. Alright. So, uh, yeah, things look a little different. Uh, wait. I have it in open mode. Do I really want to go to escape? So, yeah, that guy's not normally on the bridge. Oh, and he kills one and a half hearts. Uh, get me out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't watch much Enemizer. So... I don't actually know the strategy quite as much. Yeah, I think I don't even want to be in Hyrule Castle right now. But uh, yeah, as you can see, enemies are a little shuffled. Oh, free chest. A key! That has to be for Hyrule Castle, I think. I don't have key sanity on. But, uh, yeah, the bosses are also shuffled. I set it to full shuffle, so, um... The difference between a full shuffle and a simple shuffle is that the three bosses that you refight from Ganon's Tower uh, can be any three bosses instead of specifically Armos Knights, Moldorm, and... Uh... The other one. Landmolas. Wait. I haven't actually played Randomizer in a while. I'm like, wait, aren't I supposed to go to Skull Woods? But I. Er, not Skull Woods. What? <laughs> um. Lost Woods. I think I missed my opportunity to turn upwards for Lumberjack. Ah! See, I don't have a bomb yet. Oh, hi, Beemos. Fancy meeting you here. So yeah, boss shuffle is on. Um, I'll remark that the uh, the Ganon's Tower refights aren't necessarily going to be inside Ganon's Tower. So we might run into two of the same boss in the regular dungeons. Maybe we won't have Hookshot in it. First it'll be like, oops, all Argus. <laughs> Alright, 50 bucks. We found our first item. Or no, our like third item. Never mind. Let's see. So, besides the boss shuffle, I did turn on damage shuffle. Ooh, gloves. Our first real item. So, uh, yeah, the uh, list of damage values that enemies deal. It's a, it's a little weirdly spread out among enemies. That's why a thief did one and a half hearts. So, uh, yeah, we might end up taking eight hearts of damage from something because it deals Ganon damage. <laughs> Ooh. At least I think that value can be shuffled to something. Checking the lumberjack item now. Yeah. And I did set the sword to randomized, so I don't think there's necessarily a weapon on the uncle. So that's why I'm not like prioritizing that location. Alright. Took a little of a weird route because I forgot how to play, but uh let's get to Kakariko Village next. I think I can at least buy bombs now. Yeah, routing's gonna be weird, cause like... And... Yeah, you might like go into a dungeon, being like, Oh yeah, I can beat this dungeon. Except, uh... Suddenly, you need to... Defeat red mimics, and you don't have the bow. And there aren't normally red mimics there. 
or the uh, Igor statues could mess you up. You might run into a boss you aren't prepared for. So, uh, yeah, hopefully fun times. I did not change enemy health at all. There are a few different settings for that. Um, oh, red bottle, I can check sick kid. Lots of money, I can check bottle vendor. Need to remember I didn't actually bomb in here, though. Maybe I should have gone and bought bombs first, but I was just kind of hoping one of those chests would have bombs in it. All right, I bought money. There was a sale on money. All right, yeah, let's just go back and bomb that one spot right away before I forget. I would like to do my usual route through Kakariko. Like, I thought, like, maybe as I'm going by Chicken House, I should do Chicken House, but, uh... That might be a recipe for disaster. Oh okay, yeah, I also turned on Pot Shuffle. So, within a room, the pots will be scrambled. Uh, switches could move to different places, keys could move to different places. I think it'll mostly just be silly. Although there are a few rooms where, like, you might need an entirely different entrance into the room in order to get the actual key. Uh, that's not my bomb button. No, oh, there were bombs down here. I, uh, there were a lot of bombs. And a sword! Nice! I like swords. Our container could be good. Can almost survive Ganon fire bat damage. Or his trident damage, they're the same value. Alright, chicken house now. Oh, uh... Uh, uh, so, uh, there weren't chickens in the chicken house. I did not realize that chickens were an enemy that could be shuffled. <laughs> I thought of them as more NPCs. Oh, there was one chicken. Although I think that's because it was under a pot, so it had to be what that pot could normally contain, because there was no other pot in the room to shuffle it with. Moon Pearl. Are we about to get Hammer? We'll have Dark World access at nine minutes? Ish. Red Boomerang. Alright, I guess we check Library next. And then what? Um, mini Moldorm Cave, which probably won't have any mi mini Moldorms in it. Okay, there's just money up there. Might be useful for affording Zora. I'm just gonna go. A lot of people jump down the ledge and then, like, check it from below. But I'm feeling bold. It's money! I'll take it since, I don't know. We don't have Zora money yet. Let's see, and then is this a save and quit? I think this is a save and quit situation. Go back to Link's house. Now that we have a weapon, we could think about Hyrule Castle, but I think we go down first.
Oh, Wizard on the world map. Almost forgot to come here. See, I don't have a item that will let me erase the blocks, so we just need to come in twice. Oh, it's Blue Mimic. Or maybe that's Blue. Okay, it's blue. <laughs> but actually, it would be green normally, wouldn't it? Okay, and that gray one is actually red, right? No, I can harm it. Hmm. I had not previously considered how Palette Shuffle might... Make it not clear uh, what an enemy's vulnerable to. Although it seems like ones where it matters, they don't actually shuffle it on. Oops, all Helmosaurs. I wonder if um, all instances of mini Moldorms are necessarily replaced with the same thing, at least within a room. I think I can get them with. Oh, I tried laying a bomb there, but uh, they fell down somehow. I guess by trying to force themselves in a weird spot. Maybe my bomb pushed them? Alright, only trash in here. Gonna make the trek to uh, Ice Rod Cave next. Uh, probably. That's a Lionel. Run! <laughs> ah! Uh. <sighs> Alright, dodging, weaving. Isn't there a thing here normally? Oh. <laughs> the water whiz robe. Why not, I guess? Oh! That did four hearts! <laughs> I was a little late on my sword button. Alright, we'll just have to remember we didn't check that. Let's see... I could get in the Eastern Palace. I don't have a lamp yet. I will prefer to try checking Hyrule Castle. Now that we have a sword and can actually, like, get these thieves out of our way. Nice that they actually are killable. I guess, I don't know if it's better to go all the way up this side path, or if... You just go in the middle and go backwards, because I often see people do this area backwards. Alright, what's in here? Oh! Ah! Stealthos! At first I was like, oh, it's just one of those black things. Now, there definitely aren't many Moldorms here, normally. But we still saw many Helmosaurs. Yeah, let's still go this way, I think. <laughs> Hello, Spike! Didn't even notice that last time I was in here. Where did I make it this far? Let's hope we can kill everything down here with our current tools. Uh, oh, it's one of those. I was like, I don't think Landmola would be here. It's not a boss room. 
Couldn't think of what else burrows. Since it's open mode, Zelda won't actually be here. It might just take a death warp. And let's hope I don't, like, accidentally take one of them before I actually get to the bottom. Our mid-boss is one of those. Our container. Actually, I don't think there's any need to die. Just save and quit. I guess we're headed to Eastern. Um, Zaharasla's hut has a few items in it, too. I mean, especially if we get Lamp, there's a possibility that Eastern is completable without a bow. Whoa! Ah, he got us. Which also does damage. We don't just lose items. I guess that's why it's fair for me to damage him, because he can do it. Oh, I haven't done a map check yet. Oh, it's the bow. That's quite useful, in Animizer especially. Now I believe I can deal with most normal enemies in the game. Can't deal with the turtles. But that might be it? Bow kills a lot of things. Thieves Town has green pendant. Oh, wow, lots of pendants in the light world. But we need items, so let's dive a pendant dungeon. I wasn't going to be able to get down the ledge without getting bopped. Fish! Get owned. <laughs> it doesn't actually deal damage. <laughs> it's a ghost! I'm spooked! Okay, but we made it. Uh, right. Pot shuffle. Found the button. That's an enemy that exists in this game. How often are those cannon men actually, like, relevant? Like, never? I can't even remember where in the game they are. Are they just, like, up on the castle wall that you have no reason to go anywhere on? That sounds right. Arrows! One of the pots from down there got randomized to up here. See, I don't have the hook shot, so I need to take the top door. You are normally an anti-fairy. That means even with powder, we won't have reliable healing anywhere. Alright. First try. Found the button. At least the first try after I remembered I was supposed to be looking for a button and it wasn't a kill room.
Alright, is there still gonna be skeletons in here because they're spawned by an event? Okay, yeah. I only had three skeletons. I don't actually, like, know the skip. I just know that, like, you're supposed to go vaguely up. Let's see, I forget. Is this a... There's always money in the banana stand. I don't know if that was, like, actually a hint about, like, the bottle vendor. Ether medallion. Okay. Let's see. I mean, we don't have the lamp. But, I'll still, like, try this. Whatever's in the dark might just murder us. Oh. Wait. Oh, I confused the, like, sparkle of the black thing. Oh, pot shuffle too? Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to try to find the key in that room. Uh, uh, where else can I go? I could try Ice Rod Cave again. We have more health and a bow. Um, I don't think I want to try to climb Death Mountain in the dark. So while I'm thinking, I'll try Ice Rod Cave again. Maybe pulling up the map would help me think, though. Let's see, I could check Agina's cave in the desert, but that's the only check over there. I guess it's probably better to go there than Ice Rod Cave, though. Um. Although, if I do Ice Rod Cave successfully, maybe I could get a fake flipper and check under the bridge. Let's see. I could also make the trek to Zora. I don't think I quite have the money yet, though. I'm actually, like, running out of checks. I think. Because gloves doesn't actually open, like, anything unless you have lamp as well. This isn't Dagina's cave. Why am I here? I mean, I can look at the ledge item. I guess I might as well while I'm here. I need helmosaurs everywhere. Ether didn't open anything for me. Oh, I think I can get something in Graveyard? Hey, we found the lamp! That's of critical importance. See, I could head back to Eastern. It is a pendant, though. Let's see, where was I gonna go? I wanna do back of escape now. Especially with the lamp. That's what the gloves opened up that I remembered. Okay, just lift one of these, push this. Am I forgetting the requirements? Or do I need to be like more in the middle? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay, dodged it all. Still don't know how much damage they did. Whoa! We have Dark World access suddenly, as well as flippers. 
which could, could get us to Waterfall Fairy. Okay, but there's like one more chest in here. Uh, yeah, the door is over here. Oh. Uh, that's awkward. Was there a enemy with a key in... No, that's earlier in the dungeon, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> three and a half hearts from, uh... Elmasaur. Oh, so maybe the damage values aren't necessarily shuffled, like, among existing values. They might just deal random amounts of damage. Ah! <laughs> that was painful. I forget, does, do they die to ether? Okay, there was a key there. I thought that might be the room with an enemy with a key, I just also thought it was earlier in the dungeon. Okay, got the ch- it was the map, I could have known that- wait. Does this dungeon even have a compass? I think I have all the chests. Oh wait, it is there a spare chest in Upper Hyrule Castle? No, it's a different dungeon. then. Oh, right. There are enemies there. <laughs> Alright. Dark Kakariko is probably a good play. Like, has it ever not been a good play? Let's see. So yeah, we'll check that Dark Kakariko and then call it a part. Thanks to my review earlier, I know where the uh, dark stone to be lifted is. Imagine if pallet shuffle actually shuffled not only the pallets, but also the weights of the rocks. Like, oh, you could have gotten through here with lift 2 the whole time. Alright. We got money! Can almost afford Zora. Let's see. What other checks are in Dark Kakariko? There's C-shaped house. I think that's this one. There's bombable hut. There's jumping down and doing the digging game. We might be able to make our way over to Hype Cave, actually. Ooh. Turtles. One of the things I can't destroy yet. Alright, we're finding arrows. They like their archery here, that's why there's an archery minigame just outside the town. See, I don't have a mirror, but I could still save the smith with a save and quit. I don't think I'm gonna do that now. Because I don't know if he can follow me and like everywhere I'm gonna want to go soon. Let's get bombs unequipped so that when the minigame ends, I don't bomb myself. I don't think that's actually a concern, but uh, it might be. Yep. 
Oh. Good prize. Now I can defeat Argus if he shows up. Anyway, I'm just gonna pause here, split the episode, and in the next part we'll be looking around Dark World more, I guess. Then I might go back to Eastern Palace if nothing comes up. So yeah, see ya!